Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Celia. Uh, today I'm doing my um, ink swatches part three. This will be the last part that I do. Um, I know these don't get a whole lot of traffic on my channel, but I, I decided to do it anyway um, today because I just felt like swatching again and um, I just decided to turn the camera on. So I hope somebody out there enjoys this process. Um, I'm not in the best mood today, so I felt like playing with ink would be a nice little um, break or mood boost. So um, I have my camera on the other side today, so I'm like all discombobulated, but hoping you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Um, so today I'm doing three inks. I have Sailor, I have Noodlers, and I have Diamond. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. So the first one I am going to swatch is, I don't know what it's called, actually, I can't remember, but it was, um, I think it was like the second ink I got, It. I think it's called Sakura or Cherry Blossom, something like that. Can you even see? No. Maybe I can move this back a little bit and hope the whole thing doesn't fall over. I'll show you the swatches like I did in my other videos. Um, I am not good with this type of content. <laughs> um, I hate, like I said in my last video, I hate making messes, so. Like, I like everything needs to be in its place. All right, Sailor. I think it was Sakura or Cherry Blossom. I don't know. It's not on the bottle. And I know they sent stickers along with them, but I, I think I put them in a journal or something. All right, this one's a purple color. Again, Sailor. These are all Sailor right now. I actually did use my swatches to pick out an ink for a pen last night. So, I guess doing this swatch book is a good idea. I'm just writing purple. I know that's not the name of it, but you know what? I don't care. Um, yeah, like I said, my uh, mental health is not good today. And I just thought I'd do this, you know, play with my stuff. Um, this is a green color. I, um, again, don't know what it's called. I do like these sailor colors. They're kind of light, but um, they show up well. So, those are the colors so far. Okay, and the next two sailor ones actually are have their names on them. This one's Arizona. That's where I currently live.
Yeah, um, not doing so well today. And my, um, if you have anxiety, um, it impacts you physically as well. So the other day I actually had to leave work because this is Massachusetts because, um, I mean, I hate my job anyway, but um, it's been bad and it started impacting me physically and I thought I was gonna be sick and so I had to leave work. This one's Massachusetts. I don't know why it's orange. I mean, I get the Arizona one is orange, but the Massachusetts, I don't know. But those are the end of my sailor inks. And actually, um, no, it wasn't yesterday. It was the day before, because yesterday I was off. I was going to um, give my notice yesterday anyway, but I can't figure out how to do that because there's no email address. Even when I was trying to leave work the other day, I there was no one to tell. <laughs> anyway, noodlers, because everything's done online. This is a walnut. Oh. Somebody told me that Noodler's inks are very full. I guess I haven't used any of them. And that is correct. Ooh, this is a nice dark brown. I like that. Yeah, I mean, I've just gone back and forth, but um, it's more important to me to feel like mentally stable than to have a shitty job. So we'll see. But I was getting ready for work today and just like it hit me that I couldn't do it. Well, also they schedule me for longer hours than I had wanted to work and I told them that before and whatever. Okay. I like, I really like the illustrations on the Noodler's bottles. So this is cactus fruit. I feel like I'm gonna be covered with ink again. Like I was yesterday after the swatches and then I went to fill up this pen and um, I got it all over me. All right, this one's 54 mass. I went to um, pick up my mail yesterday and I had like ink all over me. I was like, hey, now you know what I get in my boxes. I actually think this whole swatching has been really, um, it was really therapeutic, but um, it has opened my eyes to kind of what inks I like or like what companies I like. All right, this one is, I'll show you this page when I'm done here. Um, this one is American Aristocracy. Sorry, I can't read. 
old. And this is another brown color. Um, part of my uh, feeling so depressed and anxious is I just really miss um, my backyard from um, Massachusetts. Like seeing the green grass, seeing the squirrels and the chipmunks and um, all of that. And even the wild turkeys. It's just, and the birds. I mean, there's birds here, but it's mo mainly just big angry crows. Um, all right, let's do one more on this page. This is a great purple color. Um, yeah, so I've been doing a lot of de-sashing. I know you can't tell from my videos. It probably looks like I'm just buying stuff, but I'm also getting rid of a lot of stuff because when I moved out here, I moved in my car and that will probably be how I leave here someday. Okay, this is this page very colorful these are the sailor inks at the top these are the noodlers at the bottom the noodlers are really dark um but i like that and then i have like splashes everywhere um this yesterday i put the, the ferris wheel press um harlequin dream in my Blue Esty. I had a cartridge in there, but it just wasn't working. I don't know. All right. This is going to be a big mess. Where's my laundry paper? No, I have some. I just feel like some of these inks aren't dry yet. Again, I'm swatching in my Hobonichi. All right, we're going to say Noodlers. This one is Southwest. Sunset. The noodlers I can get at the um the local art store here in Tucson that's near the university. I forget what other kind of ink they had. They only had like a couple of choices. All right, what was this, Southwest? Sunset. Again, you can see like my choices of ink. I was really trying to um, buy a lot of the things that were advertised for the Southwest, like the colors and all. But unfortunately, I don't really see those colors in real life. Although summer is, feels like it's winding down, so maybe I can get out more. 
This one is Lexington Gray, and I've used this, I've used a sample of this, so I know it's one of my favorites. And then the last one I have for Noodlers is Purple Mountain Majesties. So we're gonna have another purple here. That's the end of the noodlers. And let me put this away on my shelf and we'll do our last brand. And if you last you saw my last video, there was um I couldn't open the Monte Grappa um, ink, so I decided to destash that into the letter writing group I go to. Okay, I've got this giant bottle of autumn oak. I think I have a smaller bottle though. Maybe not. I feel like I had, uh, realized I did a repeat of something. Yeah, I guess so. All right, Autumn Oak, I know I like. I was using that in samples. I guess that's why I bought this giant bottle. Okay, so let's write Diamine. And if you're still here watching, thanks for being here. Like I said, I was gonna do this anyway, so I might as well turn on the camera. Um, I'm not saying anything fancy about these inks, but I like watching people swatch and looking at the colors and I do a lot of journaling when um, I'm watching YouTube videos like this. Did I show, yeah, I did show you guys that full page, sorry. All right, the next big one is Golden Sands. And these bottles look, you know, they're not that exciting. The smaller bottles are plastic, the bigger ones are glass. I, don't know why I bought a big bottle of this. I just did. Very golden sands. This next one is going to be Ancient Copper. Okay. 
That's a nice orange color. Um, let's see. Let's do this brown. This is saddle brown. Uh, I think I mentioned this a few weeks ago, but I've had a few people um, comment about snail mail, like either being pen pals or whatever. Um, send me a message on Instagram. I don't tend to add people unless I really know who they are, especially if they're men. That's just how I am, um, but mention, you know, that you watch me on YouTube or whatever, and um, we can chat. I am an old school pen pal in that I actually write letters, I write long letters, they're always handwritten, um, I'm not I know like these days, a lot of people's pen pal situations are just sending each other little things and um, not really writing letters. I will spend hours writing letters. So that's the type of pen paling I do, just so you know. But yeah, I, I'm, um, I, oh, I'm kind of backed up on mail, but I'm definitely willing to take on more pen pals as long as you're really like into the letter writing and this one's called Night Water. Well, it's in French, so Oh de no. That's not my Oh, Daniil? I don't know what that is. Um, we're almost getting down here, guys. The last two blues. Okay, so which one was it? I think Marine is the one I had a sample of and I wanted to order a bottle and I was sent a different one. So I mean, they're almost the same, but... There's room for like one more blue on this page, and then I'll show you the page. If any of you are out there, if you're out there, leave me a comment of some sort. Even if you say, I don't do fountain bins. blue okay so those are I'll show you that page oops sorry those are the rest of the noodlers and these are the diamine and I have three more bottles of diamond to go and then I'll be done with swatching all of my inks Q-tips. Alright, we're going to 
do spring green. I think I got this one in a multi-pack because I don't usually buy greens unless they're like a khaki avocado shade. All right, and now we've got Tyrian purple. Uh, thank you to Paperworms Cat for, what was this? Darian Purple. Um, requesting my ink swatches because I'm really enjoying this and I should have done this as I got the inks, but I just didn't for whatever reason. And now it's so helpful because I can just flip through and figure out what ink I want to use. All right, this is Flamingo Pink. And it's kind of ironic because I bought all those Ferris Wheel Press inks and I feel like they're my least favorite now. Because a lot of them are really light. And... I mean, they're beautiful shades, but for journaling and letter writing, I really want something that's going to stand out a little bit. Okay, I'll show you those last three. And I'm done with my ink swatching. <coughs> All right now, so I will, let's go back to the first pages of ink swatching I did. All right, here we go. These are my Ferris wheel press inks, and you can tell they are kind of, um, They don't jump out that much. Well, some of them do, but the Harlequin Dream is what I put in my SD. And then I've got these. I like the browns over here. More. And then let me find what I did yesterday. Alright, so then these are a whole bunch of different inks or different companies and then more of those like here at the bottom I have a lot of um, Robert Oster, and then this is what we've done today, the Sailors, the Noodlers, more Noodlers, and Diamine, and that's it. So those are all of the inks in my collection right now, and I thank you all for watching. Um, I rotate between fountain pens and gel pens and ballpoint currently. It's just what I feel like using and 
that system seems to be working better for me instead of I don't know I tend to be like all or nothing like jump in and go crazy and um, I need to find a balance so that's what I've been doing thanks for watching this really long video if you made it all the way through um, I'm trying to think of anything special to add, but I don't think I have anything special to add. So thanks for watching all the way through. I will get back to some more notebook content next. I just wanted to do this video again. And it honestly, I feel so much better than half an hour ago when I started. I was really like down. And now just playing with the inks was just so relaxing and I'm really happy I did this so thanks for watching everybody um, again like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one bye